happy first day of fall everyone i'm fogged up anyway i just went on a run um where i normally do this is the butler freeport trail it's beautiful oh my gosh i'm so foggy it's like 86 percent humidity so sorry about my grossness so anyway i'm out here on the trail and i thought i would gather some leaves so we can do a little watercolor paint thing and i did a great little walk through and found all these uh, and I thought it was recording and it wasn't. So anyway, I found some. They're really pretty. And so I'm gonna go home and get a shower and then do the rest of the video. Hello, I'm back. I took a shower. <laughs> I feel much better. So these are the leaves that I found. What I love about autumn leaves it's like they're already watercolor i mean just the way the colors are so smoothly put on put on you know what i mean i don't know how to describe things because i am a visual person and not uh... Hello everyone, I'm back. I took a shower, I feel much better. Um, so these are the leaves that I gathered in the woods. Um, I tried to pick the most vibrant and ones that have like really awesome colors together. I love the way this one is red with green inside. And this one of course has green, red, and yellow, and brown. <clears throat> I don't know, they're just really awesome. They look like they're already watercolor. I don't know how, how that happens. It's just awesome. So I think, which one should I try first? Uh, this one is sad because it has a chunk of it taken out, but that's all right. Um, well, I won't do that one first, even though I want to. I'll do this, this, this one because I feel like it's a tad bit more simple. So I'm just gonna lay that there. Let's lay it like that. So first thing I'm gonna do is sketch it out with pencil. Um, and you know, the cool thing about leaves are they're, I don't really think you're gonna mess them up that much because every one, just like trees, every one of them is different. So, I don't know. You're not gonna mess it up. It's, see I can't even, I'm getting nervous here. I don't wanna draw in front of all y'all. Okay, I'm just gonna sketch out the, the, uh, the outline of it. And I'm not going for perfection here. And see how I if I'm a little sniffly I'm sorry I had a cold last week and it is just lingering on when I was running today my lungs were burning probably doesn't help how bad the humidity is okay so I got an outline here I'm just gonna add these like little jaggy edges corner, inside corner there is a little rounded. Oh, my husband is working at home today and I said, I want to make this video, but I don't want you around me while I'm doing it because I feel super self-conscious. He's like, so he's doing a work meeting in my, our bedroom. So he's locked in there for now. Thank goodness, because I wouldn't be doing this if he was downstairs. It's amazing how shy I can be in real life, but whenever I'm doing this video, I feel like it's different because nobody's really watching. Okay. Okay, so I got the outline here. I didn't really leave enough on the paper to actually 
make the uh, stem realistic really long. And I'm going to draw the veins in just, just to get a suggestion so I know like where the darkest ones are. And over here. Okay, so that's about it. Okay. So the next thing that I like to do is pre-dampen my watercolors so I can get a lot of color whenever I'm ready to paint on here. So of course I'm gonna, I have a water pen here. It, the water's inside, in case you've never seen these before, the water's inside and you just squeeze it out as you need it. I don't always use this but when I'm at home, but it's, it's what I grabbed. So I'll get some orange, some yellow, I'm just putting some water in there. There's another orange. And we'll get the, the browns ready. And, and there's a little bit of green. Okay, so while that's doing its thing over here, I'm going to go over here <clears throat> and wet the paper, but I'm only going to wet it inside of the lines that I drew. You don't want to make it outside of the lines because um, watercolors, whenever, as soon as you touch the watercolor on the paper, it'll like spread and you don't want it to spread outside of the lines of the leaf. We're going to try to replicate what's inside. Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of water out here and I'm just going to Add a decent amount of water because I don't want it to dry before I'm even done filling it in. So I'm just kind of roughly going around this. Okay, so that's wet. I think I'm going to start with yellow. And so I'm just going to take a couple of these shades of yellow and see how it, I just had to touch it and it goes out like that. I'm just going to fill in mostly where it's going to, where it is actually yellow. It's a little brighter than the actual leaf, but that's okay. Maybe I'll add a little bit of brown in there, Some, just a, a touch of orange, just fill this in, okay so the paper is still wet so I'm gonna go in to some reds now. I'm just going to take some red, I have some darker red already mixed here, just red and some shades of brown, gives it a more natural red. Okay, so I'm just going to touch the paper. I don't like how I want it to be a little bit more vibrant than that. So yeah, I mean, the leaves already look watercolor, so if you just touch the paper, the, the moisture in the paper kind of does a lot of the work. And if, if your paper gets too dry, you can always add some more water. Just don't work with it too much or it will kind of mix the colors together. So I'm just going to like dot this around. Over here, there's definitely darker red around the edge. Uh, my dogs are barking. They're constantly watching out the window to see who's out there. 
how many cats they can tell who's boss. This is kind of a little bit more orangey over here. So, just randomly dotting it in. Not being too particular about it. Let's see. I, I must tend to whisper while I'm <laughs> painting, so I hope it's loud enough. Oh gosh. No, you don't want to fill in all the yellow because there's definitely yellow showing through. Put a little more red over here. They're just so pretty. I just love the fall colors. Okay. So, I'm going to add some of this dark these dark brown spots and I think my paper is getting a little bit dry so I'm gonna just carefully I'm adding some more because the, the thing about watercolors is it will lift back up and I think I add a little too much so that's okay I'm just gonna take a little tiny piece of paper towel just touch it on and it'll like soak it up and it did lift a little bit of this color, which I'm just going to add some more. Just go with it. Happy little dots on our happy little leaf. <laughs> okay, so this is just a really, really dark brown. I mean, I guess it looks like black, but I wouldn't use straight black ever. That's one of the things you should not do. I mean, I'm not saying I never do it. I do. I mean straight up I'm not gonna lie but in nature there really isn't black so I'm just gonna take a lot of dark brown some black whatever just mix a bunch of stuff together <laughs> okay so I got some dark stuff here I'm just gonna draw some of these shapes on it's a little too black still I'm excited about that there we go So this one kind of goes along the spine a little bit. Yay! So I started using my DSLR camera and of course it doesn't record it very long. It's like 10 minute snippets and then it shuts off. So if something jumps around, that's what's happening. It's totally ridiculous to me that <clears throat> that's the way it works. But that's the way it works. I'm going to add a few more reddish browns in here. And a little bit darker. Oops. See, this was dry. I don't like the way that didn't like spread. I actually would love to use actual spatters right here. <coughs> Which, if I wasn't lazy, I would get masking fluid and mask all around this. Then I would spatter it on. <laughs> and then peel it off. But I, really, I have some, but I don't really want to do it. So, let's see if we can make this happen without making too big of a mess. I'm gonna get a different brush here. Well, nah. Actually. I have this other brush here. It is full of black ink, but it's like a real blue black. But it's so potent. I love it. I just, sometimes I feel like I should get one that's like more of a sepia. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. Ooh. That looks really pretty. Just tiny taps. Tiny, tiny taps. All right. All right. Let's see. What else do I want to do here? I mean, there's some very light touches of green 
in these uh, these veins here. So I'm going to attempt to add a little bit. Just touches though. I mean, it's not it's not a huge. It's really hard to get a teeny tiny amount. But you know, I really don't mind if it's not exactly like the leaf because it's just that's the way they are. They're all different. They're so pretty. Add a little bit of yellow to that green. Now, I'm really not super happy with how vibrant these the red is, so I think I'm going to try to go into it again. Hopefully I don't ruin it. <laughs> Just on the edges here. See, this is still kind of dry, so I'm gonna. I don't really want to re wet it, so I'm just gonna like blend out the edge here. I feel like it needs a little more orangey tones in there. I am by no means an expert at watercolor, but I love to use them, especially because they're so portable. So it's what I usually carry around in my for my sketchbook when I'm out and about. But when I'm at home, typically when I'm doing big paintings, I use acrylic and oils. Lately I've been getting into oils. It's kind of weird. I never thought I would. Okay, adding some more dark over here. This is not blending the way I want, so I'm going to try to blend it some more. Add some more orange. Actually, I'm going to add some more water here. I don't really feel like I'm capturing the jaggy edges here very well. This probably isn't the greatest brush. I actually just ordered a new watercolor brush last night. That's It's not a water pen, but it is something like Neptune or something. And it is like so awesome because the it's like a shaped like this, only it's really fat and goes to a really fine point, and I just love that. I, I would rather not have to switch brushes to get some the fine points. I just wanna use the tip of it, which I can do on this, but it takes a little more concentration. In order to get my camera to film this the way I want, it has to be, I'm like kinda awkwardly reaching further than I normally do. So I'm not sure what to do about that. I gotta figure out a better setup. That I need to get a new table that's smaller. So I'm just going around the edges here trying to refine the jaggies. Add a little more color. So let's see, the stem is kind of like a weird greenish yellow with brown, so I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so one of the uh, ways to make it look really realistic 
is to put in the shadow. So I don't know if the shadow I'm seeing is the same as what you're seeing. Probably not exactly, but there's pretty harsh sh shadow over here and around here. So I'm going to try to replicate that. Um, let's see. I have like a gray sort of already here. Sometimes I like it to have a tiny bit of purple in it for the shadows, which is kind of nice. So first I'm gonna just put it in real light. Just kind of estimate, see how it starts here. And I don't wanna touch the color of the leaf too much because it might bleed. So I'm being very careful. Not sure, I might, I might have, it might have been a better choice to do that first, but I wasn't thinking. So I got it real light here. You can see it gradually gets closer and closer to this end here. And then on this side, it's much darker. It kind of goes, for me, it goes further away from it. And actually, I could see the shadow from this leaf right there. own thing. Okay, so I'm going to add even more color with it. A little more purple. I'm just kind of grabbing some of this brown that I made earlier. A little bit of this black. And I'm going to find the the parts that are actually darker and kind of just touch it in. All too dark. Oh, and here I go making a mess. <laughs> I kind of clean that up a little bit. Eh, it's not perfect, but that's what I like about watercolor. You can just kind of go boop. Uh, honestly, I'm not excited about the way this shadow turned out. Maybe I've done it too dark. It's just not exactly the way I wanted it. And it might be too late. I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. I must have got paint on my hand. I am the world's messiest painter. I'm not even kidding. Half of the, half of my time painting is cleaning up the messes that I make. It's really terrible. And ruining my clothes. And the floor. I have a carpet under my acrylic paint area just because the floor would be destroyed. It's a carpet that I knew I would destroy from the beginning. So I'm just kind of dabbing this up until I get it the way I want it. All right. So I got caught off again, but luckily I didn't do that too much. <laughs> um, so right now I am just trying to get this to dry. It's not f really dry. And I just want it to dry because I'm going to be using like, well, they're not micron pens. I got Prismacolor last time only because 
The Micron pens were on sale, so I couldn't use my coupon, and it wasn't as great of a deal. <laughs> Duh. So I decided to get this pack of Prismacolor, and they're they're good. They're fine. I don't know. You can't really tell that big of a difference. Okay, it's I can still tell it's wet, but okay, good enough. Um, so to be completely honest. You could be done with this if you like the soft uh, watercolor look. I just, I like to put some lines in it and I don't know why, it's just what I like. Um, so this pack has a variety of thicknesses and this is the smallest one, it's a 005. And then the next biggest is a one or zero one. So I think at first those are the two I'm going to use because I don't want it to be too bold. But I have the zero zero five here. I'm just gonna. I guess at first I'm just gonna go around the edges. That way I can refine this, these little jaggies a little bit. Sometimes I let the way the, the watercolor, you know, spread on the paper, I let that guide my lines. I especially like to do that whenever I'm drawing like full size trees. It's it's pretty fun. I'll have to do a little video about that sometime. I don't even know if you'll be able to really see this in the video. See it's a little bit wet so I'm having a hard time with this. I think I'm gonna switch to the other one. Might even be running out of juice, I don't know. Okay, so I wanna refine just a little bit inside because um, there's a lot of these really tiny little dots that I really like. So I'm, I'm just gonna add some. I actually think I'm gonna break out the watercolor, or not watercolor pencils, just regular pencils here in a minute because to do the veins. Wasn't planning on doing that, but I just, I feel like it's right. Mm -hmm. Just really want to use this super skinny one. No, I don't, I don't really want to put them in too bold, just like some suggestions. When I was in high school, uh, I, I loved stippling. I stippled everything. I kind of got away from it just because it takes so much time to like really shade something with stippling. So I'm just kind of going around this edge. I mean, this is just kind of my style, I guess. Uh, I don't even think it's necessary. It's just, it's just something that I've done through the years. Like, you know, like I said earlier, just kind of going where the, where the actual paint decided to dry. I'm not doing every edge either, just some. Do a few more dots over here. Let's see. Um. 
Okay, I'm gonna get my watercolor pencils. Why do I keep saying watercolor pencils? They're legit just plain old prism color. Um, let's see. I'm basically gonna use these just to do some of these fine lines here. And I know that I don't have these, these guys in the exact right spot. You don't gotta tell me. I don't care. <laughs> I think it's, I'm not, I'm, I'm one of those people, like I don't do art to try to replicate it like a photo. That's not what art is to me. Art is, I don't know. I don't have a perfect definition. I just know that I want it to be pretty. I want it to use my imagination and let, let, you know, whatever happens with the medium that I'm using. I think it's more fun that way. This, I'm gonna add some of that green that I was mildly unsuccessful with earlier. There's just some touches of it, but I don't want to add too much. All right, okay. I want to make these a little darker too, so it's going to very lightly. Actually, since I got my pencils out, I think I'm gonna work with the, the red a little bit. Just wanted it to be darker. This is like a, a purpley red, but I feel like it's the appropriate color to add on these edges here. It's very dark. These pencils are literally, um, they're 20 years old. I graduated Pittsburgh Technical Institute and, um, gosh, I think it was 1997. Was that right? I graduated high school in 95. It was a year and a half program. So that sounds right. Long enough ago that I can't remember. That's all that matters. It's crazy. I can't even believe time flies. All right. Well, I feel like I've done enough here. I mean, you can, I, I always want to do instructional videos, but art is so not that way. I feel like the best the best way to get better at it, obviously, and the best way to figure out how to do it is to just do it yourself and practice. So 
So there's the, the most important tip of the day. I think I've said it a million other times. So, I think that's about it. I'm pretty happy with it. I think that... Well, as I say that, I'm like... Let's do one more thing. Just kind of working with this edge a little bit more. Just kind of adding a little bit more. Okay, so I got cut off again and I didn't know. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I, that's, if you didn't really miss anything, I'm, I think I'm going to call it a day on this one. It's not exactly the same, you know, but I think it's a, it's a pretty little addition to my sketchbook and nice little practice. So if you like this video today, let me know and, and let me know if you have any suggestions of what you'd like me to do next time. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.